okay here we are going to discuss a simple problem of work and time this looks simple but actually it is not simple when you uh, go and solve it uh, with traditional methods so uh, I have a very tricky method uh, that is really helpful in uh, solving the questions when you are appearing for some competition let's see the question first a wall 200 meter long can be made by 50 men who work 10 hours a day in 20 days how many hours will 40 men have to work every day if the wall is 220 meters and the work has to be completed in 30 days here what we notice the number of men have been decreased in the condition 1 there were 50 men and in the condition 2 that we have to solve 40 men are here and the other thing the length of the wall that has been increased by 20 meter the other thing the number of days there we had 20 days to complete the work here we have 30 days to complete the work so all these conditions are prevailing here so what we do actually what is the trick is all about we will see it uh, with the other thing first we will write all the factors which are involved in it like wall length say wall okay then write here men then write hours then write day days okay so write the condition one components here whatever has been responsible 200 meter wall 200 men how many men 50 men hours they work 10 hours a day and days 20 days they are completing in okay now we will see the condition 2 what is condition 2 there are 40 men 40 men and the wall is 220 meters long and days here we have 30 days the thing that is not known that we have to find out that is the hours how many hours will they work will they have to work every day so let's take it as a okay so this is called the arrow method you have to put arrow in any of the direction of the relative segments okay so uh, now here in ours uh, it is a default it is a default means the arrow will point towards a only in all the sums in all the problems okay now when we are taking one condition suppose we have to decide the arrow direction for the wall all the two conditions here you have to eliminate both these like we have to eliminate both these you don't have to think of these okay now we'll put something on it so that we won't be able to see this okay I have put a thing here I have put a thing here okay right we can't see those two things now okay now we are deciding uh, about the aero direction for wall 200 meter walls 200 meter wall can be made by working 10 hours okay then how many hours we will have to work for making 220 meter wall more or less obviously we will have to work for more hours for making 220 meter wall so now this more or less will be decisive here which is more here 200 or 220 obviously 220 is more so here the condition that we decided that we will have to work for more hours and that more is deciding the arrow direction here which is more 220 is more so the direction will be this side arrow direction okay now eliminate this and we will decide about the men okay 50 men are working and they are completing the work by working 10 hours a day and if 40 men are working 
how many hours will they have to work more or less more hours they will have to work obviously because men are less so they will have to work for more hours every day so here which one is more 50 or 40 50 is more so that more is again decisive here we have to point the arrow towards 50 okay now we will eliminate this we don't have to see this okay so now in 20 days if we have to complete the work we work 10 hours a day and if in 30 days we have to complete the work we will have to work how many hours less or more less hours obviously the number of days which have been given they are more than sufficient so we will have to work for lesser hours so which one is less here 20 or 30 20 is less so here the direction of arrow will be towards 20 okay now how the question will be solved here the first segment has completed okay so how is this come, uh, done whatever wherever the direction of arrow is that is kept on top like i am showing it a by 10 will be equal to okay a by 10 will be equal to here see 220 by 200 220 by 200 into 50 by 40 because arrow direction is here 50 by 40 into 20 by 30 20 by 30 now transfer 10 to the other side a is equal to 10 into 220 into 50 into 20 upon 200 into 40 into 30 okay now let's solve this 1010 zero, 1010 zero, one zero, one zero. 2020 okay so this is all cut now we can write it as 22 into 5 into 2 upon 2 into 4 into 3 right so 2 is